Howdy, hey, this is Frackbox, and I'm here with Omega Wolf. Hi. So we're continuing. Uh, is she talking right now? Uh, yeah. I literally cannot hear her. You never can hear Cortana. I know, my audio is just so bad. There we go. Now I can hear. Oh my gosh, the Covenant are just getting destroyed. They should just, like, not let grunts be out there. Yeah. And just send all the elites. Once once they figured out that the flood were there anyway, why didn't they make the ship go higher? And like, uh, leave. I don't know. Although there was a a profit on there. Mm -hmm. Oh really? There's a profit on there? Yeah, uh, a minor profit. Oh. Ow. It's like a cardinal or something. Uh, I don't specifically. I don't know how to translate it. Oh okay. Well, onward we go. Yeah, that's actually Captain, more open. I've lost hmm. So, spoilers, by the way, for, for later in this mission, but when you find Captain Keys, he's basically turned into a flood. Yes, he becomes a proto-gravemind. Oh, a proto-gravemind? Yeah. Okay, so basically he would form into a gravemind given enough time. Yes. Okay. Given enough bodies. So basically by, by killing Captain Keys, though, when you take out his transponder... Uh, does that does that kill his memories too? Yes, you pretty much destroy his brain. Okay, so then basically the flood actually, can't use his memories. Yeah? Yes. Okay, good. But uh, it's revealed in Halo: The Flood, uh -huh. which is detailing these events. Okay. That it was trying to sift through his memories. Oh. And he kept feeding it Analyzing wrong it. memories, like. Where Earth wasn't, and just, right? Okay, so ca uh, like, so Captain Keys was actually remarkably strong-willed. Yes, and he was actually feeding it memories of Miranda and other things like that. Wow. And so, but it, it was actually deleting the memories. Oh, so so whenever it gave it a false memory, it would delete the memory so that he could he had less memories to distract them with. Yes. Oh, that's brilliant. Well, Why did you... Oh, that's where you're supposed to go. Yeah. But just... Every time he gave it a, a memory that it didn't want, it just deleted it. Wow. I don't need this. Wow. Like, you're wasting my time. Feed me something I want. Right. Goodness. Which is actually map coordinates. Wow. Ah! So is that the reason why the captain stayed so in control of himself for that long? Is because the grave mind needed his mind more intact? Oh! Wow, that thing just slapped you. <laughs> uh, it was just like, uh, no. Probably. Or is it because he was so strong-willed that he lasted so long? Um, it's or, or a combination of both? Probably. It's, okay. it's definitely wasn't a uh, Jenkins situation where the flood was weak. Okay. Because basically he was turning into a grave mine. The flood. Yeah. So, but if you're gonna start with a base for um, for a, a proto grave mine anyway, Captain Keys isn't the he, worst choice. No, he he actually he's a brilliant tactician. Yeah, absolutely. You'd probably want to start off with a brilliant tactician anyway. Yeah, he actually has taken on warships that humanity has to brute force themselves against. Wow. With just the destroyer. Yeah. Oh goodness, we we still have famine on. Uh, yeah. The, so our this when is going to be difficult. So when you find weapons in the environment that are dropped by by enemies, they have half the ammo. Yeah, this is this is going to be very difficult. This is actually a mission I enjoy quite a bit. Um, <laughs> the magnetism, the magnetism is right. tracking onto the individual infection forms. Right. I wonder how much different this game would be if it came out for PC first. I have no idea. Actually, the funny thing is, is that the infection forms can do tons of damage. Uh huh. If uh, the target doesn't have shielding. Uh huh. So what I was trying to do there is cause as much damage to the elite shield as possible to let the infection forms deal with them. Right. Well, one of the reasons I asked before about. Um how how it would be different if it came if it was made for PC first is that I recently uh, I, I had the opportunity to play like Call of Duty 2 like the World War 2 shooter uh, in multiplayer mode 
just on, on a local console yeah. on an Xbox 360. And that is one game that I'm actually really, really good at. But I got good at it playing on the PC version. I got really, really good. Like, if, if there was a competitive scene back then, back when that game came out, I would have been good enough to be pro. Essentially, right. I was I was exceptional at that game actually, uh, on the PC. But uh, when I played it recently, I realized that a lot of the oh, <laughs> interesting glitches making sound. I realized that a lot of the training that I had because I played that game for just hours and hours and hours on end. Uh, I really really sucked at the Xbox 360 version of that game, and I realized just how much of a difference the controller makes that you use. Um, games that I play on the 360, if they were brought to the Xbox, er, er, if they were brought to, from a console to a computer, I wouldn't be as good with them because I'm more practiced with the, with the controller. But with the PC version, especially, since the PC is a, a much better way to control a game. I actually keep on aiming just to the left or right. Yeah, it, like, playing a game that was, that you originally played on a, on a PC on, with, with a controller instead. <laughs> I think you, you, you don't launch. It's, it's different. You don't do as well. Um, one game that I see this happen with is um, Fallout. Fallout 3. Huh. So with Fallout 3, I actually I owned that game for PC, but it was sort of uh, Games for Windows Live flagship title. Yeah. And so I actually plugged a an Xbox 360 controller into my computer and played it with an Xbox 360 controller just because it was more of like a casual shooter game. Seriously, watch this. Oh my gosh, it's just so ineffective. Yeah. But, um... Oh. Okay. Because with, with Fallout, the controls are already so, like, weird anyway. Like, the, the game's not precise in its shooting, Fallout 3 is. Yeah. It, it's not precise. So... It, it doesn't really do a whole... It doesn't give you a whole lot of benefit to use a mouse and keyboard with it anyway. So, for me, since the controls were already loose enough, a controller was much easier to control because it's more casual. And it has the VAT system and... Which the, is just auto-targeting. You don't which have is auto-targeting. You, don't, you so don't care. That game, for my mind at least, made more sense to use a, a controller with. But for games that have tighter controls, like shooters with tighter controls... A keyboard makes more sense. Mouse and keyboard. Yeah. So, it's just interesting how the different types of controls can be Get done. away from me, all of you. All of you. Whoa. <laughs> Get away. I'm surprised you survived that one exploding next to you, actually. Urgh. Urgh. Stay away. <laughs> those, those little, those Stay little away. Come on. Oh my gosh, they're just marching. March of the penguins right into your cannon right <laughs> yeah. there. That, yeah. You, you can just sit here for a few minutes. Wow. But you know a game like like uh, Gears of War, for example. I I don't think I'd be as good at that game playing with a mouse and keyboard because it's yeah. a third person view. I think a third person view is much much better for a controller uh, on a controller. Well, yeah, just my take. Um, I I have played uh, Mass Effect. That may surprise some people, but mm -hmm. uh, I noticed that. Oh oh my gosh! Whoa. Come on. Was that a grenade or was that a? That was a grenade being exploded by a by a one of those balloons. Oh, things. that's cheap. But um, I it wasn't bad while I was using a mouse. Yeah, I think it's like uh, inside your range there. Oh my gosh, you're you're probably gonna die there. Not yet. You know after. After the you kill the elite, it would make more sense for the grunts to be like, "Hey, let's be on the same side." For a while, like until you beat them, because it's it's obvious they're outclassed by both you and by the flood. Yeah, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense for for them to keep fighting you, because um, you could re you could be reasoned with. Yeah, right. You may be the demon, but at least the demon can talk. Yeah, and actually. <laughs> The grunts can speak English. They're the ones that actually speak the most English. Right, you're telling me they actually like the... They, they, they like, like human soap operas. Yeah. <laughs> Which is odd. Because they put a lot of them in communications. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see here. Even though they're just, like, really, really dumb. <laughs> <laughs> they're just dumb. <laughs> well, I'm sure there's some that are as intelligent as humans. Dumb with a capital B. Dumb with a capital B. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
dump. <laughs> <laughs> Like, they, they think humans lay eggs. They think humans lay eggs. And show their maternal prowess by losing limbs. What? Yeah. Oh! Why would, <laughs> why would they think that? Because Halsey. Oh. <laughs> what? I don't know. It was in Halo 5. <laughs> are, are you serious? Yes. Oh, my gosh. It was, it was a uh, one of those hidden info dumps. Oh, I see. Oh my gosh, you are so low on ammo. You can't use the, the turret anymore? Uh, it's somewhere off, I don't know. Oh no. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Uh, Goodness. Oh, it has a shotgun. I like how it <laughs> I, shot, but it totally missed you. But, yeah. it, but it looked like it should have hit you. Yeah. Like, oh, I am out. You know what? Where's the plasma pistol? I, I'm okay with a plasma pistol. I think pistol. there was, yeah, there's one there. You know, I think this might be a good place to call the episode. Uh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is Frackbox. This is a Meg Wolf. Have a great day. Stay safe!